Nasser! <sighs> Nasser! <sighs> Ah! What do you want? I'm very busy preparing for my meeting at the coffee plantation. The internet says that there are Komodo dragons on the island. Is that really true? Do you think we'll spot one? Huh? No. No, Komodo dragons are on the island of Komodo, man. But... Next you'll be saying there are Komodo dragons on all of Indonesia's 18,307 islands. Go away now. I'm busy as you can obviously see. Don't bother no, me. No, but on Flores it says that there are... I haven't got time for this, man, sir. The mark for my report on the coffee production of Flores goes in my permanent record. While we were landing, one of the indicator lights came on. I'm gonna have to stay here and supervise the repairs. Dad, you promised that we would hang out. I know, man, sir. I really am sorry. But you know, safety always comes first. Anyway, Nasser will look after you. But I have important work to do. Don't worry, the boys won't cause you any trouble. Will you now, boys? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> you bet we won't. Trouble? Us? Really? <laughs> you can trust us, Dad, really. All right, fine then, whatever. Come on, let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Indonesia. Hop in. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> all right, we're all settled in here, and okay. I gotta say, it's really nice uh. around here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Right now! Allow me. Boys, would you like me to show you the other side of the island? Yeah, Ooh, that'd be awesome. yes, that would be awesome! Cool. <laughs> Turkey, as you've been the most sensible, you can stay and be my assistant. What do you say? <laughs> but, um. I know. Well... I know, it's a great honor. No need to thank me. <sighs> a great honor indeed. <laughs> All right, boys, I'll pick you up later. Have fun, see ya. Bye! Bye. Well, come on then. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> Hmm. Hey guys, did you hear that? What? Hmm? Huh? 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 Uh... The rustling. No, I only hear the sound of your knees knocking. <laughs> and your teeth chattering. <laughs> Coffee is one of Arabia's great gifts to humanity. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, NASA! Selfie time! <laughs> what are we gonna do? We have to wait. Doesn't look like that Komodo dragon is going anywhere. Nana will get rid of him. 
<laughs> Nano, do you think you can distract that Komodo dragon? Of course, Mancer. Commencing Komodo dragon distraction routines immediately. When growing on the bushes, these beans may not look like much, but once they are turned into coffee, they become one of the most precious commodities on Earth. Dragon. <gasps> it's probably the same Komodo dragon that my family's been having trouble with. We once had four water buffalo who would happily graze on our rice paddy. Then one disappeared and we could only find three for a while. A week or so later, only two. And now we only have one left. And it's so nervous and scared that it no longer makes milk. I have an idea on how to fix this Komodo dragon problem. We'll do this. One hundred meters. Seventy-five meters. Fifty meters. I see it. Twenty-five meters. Fifteen, ten meters, run! <laughs> no! I think everyone should be able to hear that Komodo dragon coming now. Ah! There's that nasty Komodo dragon again! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> All the different flavors come from the type, the soil, and the roasting process. Sure, but, but, uh, Nasser. It really is quite fascinating. The range of flavors is almost endless. And that is before we even discuss the afterbrew additives like caramel and vanilla. <laughs> Guys, you would not believe just how close Nasser came to being eaten by a Komodo dragon. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. About this close. We also huh? got pretty close to one, but we didn't run away. <laughs> Actually, you wouldn't believe it, but we saved the family's farm from a Komodo dragon. <laughs> we defeated a dragon. <laughs> yeah, with a belt. Uh. Huh? Huh? What is it? Uh. Huh? Uh. Uh. Told you the Komodo dragon was close to having Nasser for dinner. Uh. Why didn't you say anything? I was trying to. Uh, oh, uh, you sound like a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Komodo dragon, where?
your leg doing, Grandpa? Oh, not so bad. Uh, but I might have to give up the rock climbing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mansoor, I wonder if you could do me a favor. Listen, because it's very important, I need you to post this letter for me. I'd do it myself, but it's a long walk to the post office. No problem, Grandpa. It's only 12 p.m. I have lots of time to spare. May God bless you, my dear child. Bye. Mansoor! Hey, Mansoor! Hey, Mansoor! Hey there, guys! What's up? What's you up to? Not much. I'm doing a favor for my grandpa of delivering this letter for him. He says it's pretty urgent, apparently. Urgent? That's cool! It's kind of like you're going on a mission. You're posting a letter? Whoa! This could be so dangerous! <laughs> totally. Well, you know, not every adventure we go on has to be mysterious and wild. <laughs> We're here. We did it. The mission's almost accomplished. Huh? Why is the door locked? Oh, no. What are we going to do now? Oh. Look. It says here that the nearest post office is located downtown. It's the central post office building, and it closes at 2. It's downtown? We should get going. It's pretty far, and it's... 12.30. Calm down. We're right beside City Park. Yeah, yeah and? What I'm saying is, we can get to the other post office. It's on the other side of the park. And so, all we need to do is just cut across on foot. Piece of cake. And Let's do it. Hmm. I wonder what's in that letter. Mm. You know, I'm pretty sure your grandpa's a secret agent, Mansoor. It probably contains secret plans. He's not an agent, Obeyed. He's like 73. Sure, but maybe he's an old agent. He's probably a spy master by now. We're still good. Still an hour before the post office closes. This is turning into a real mission, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, who would have thought sending a letter off could be so adventurous? Oh! Ouch! <laughs> Wait! Hold on! Oh! Looks like there's a race going on. How are we gonna get across? Obey, hold on to this. There must be another way. I'll just check my GPS to see if there's any. Well played, Obeyed. Come on! Uh, hurry, hurry! Uh, 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 oh! Uh, 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 Hi there! Huh? Excuse me one moment! Mansoor? What huh? the? 114? Oh no! You grabbed the runner's number! Not the letter! Huh? Thanks and sorry! Good luck with the race! We've still got 40 minutes. Come on. Uh. <laughs> 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 we made it. <laughs> 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 
Finally! Nothing can stop us now! Seriously, who'd have thought a little letter could cause so much trouble? Huh? Oh. No! Oh. What is going on? Another way to get in. There's no way we could get through the gates, but Nano could definitely go inside. Great idea, Obeyed. Greetings there, Mansoor. I've got a job for you, Nano. Seek and locate mode. Ready to comply. boys. You look exhausted. Here, kiddos. Do you want some lemonade with mint? By the way, did you send my letter? Yes, I did, Grandpa. With help from Obeyed and Solemn, and also Nano. Well, I hope it wasn't too much trouble. It was no trouble at all, Grandpa. <laughs> you see, I realized all I gave you was an empty envelope. I forgot I forgot to put the letter in. Forgive me. <laughs> what? But I thought that it was urgent and had to get there by tomorrow. It does. That's why I scanned it. I was uh -huh. able to email it instead to make it easier. Technology is amazing. Boys? Huh? <laughs>
<laughs> you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Come on, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Every time you buy a drink like that, you spill it and cause some kind of disaster. Is that so? Yeah, it's so. Name one time that's happened. Hmm, let me think. Hmm? Finally! <laughs> <laughs> or what about that other time? You just press it, and we will win the National Mathematics Cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how could we forget that one time you... <laughs> Of course, there's that other time when... I can keep going if you want. Okay, but come on, really? Just look at where we are right now. We're in a solar and hydro-powered town where everything's connected. Everything's computerized, even the cars. Nothing can ever go wrong here. It's basically perfect. Let's just go have fun. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Hey, guys! Look at this! Hello there, boys. Hop in. Let us go for a ride. Careful with the drink. Huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Huh. My name is Wassel. I am the first of a brand new generation of smart cars. And today, I am now going to take you on a short tour of Eco Town. Huh? Whoa! Wassel, is somebody controlling you from a command center? All the smart cars in Ecotown are connected through a central server, but every car drives itself. We're 100% automated down to our processing. You are pretty impressive. I am powered by solar energy, plus capable of driving and talking. My main interface is the control panel that is located right in front of you. It senses smoke, temperature, human touch, and smells. <laughs> it sounds like the only thing you're missing is a social media page with selfies. <laughs> I already have one. Now smile. Oh. Oh, you're Whoa. gonna spill it. Watch, you're gonna spill it and something bad's gonna happen. We are. Uh, 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 uh. Wassel? <laughs> <laughs> Something's not right. Take it one car at a time. I will steal this technology and then dump a self-destruct virus into the system. It will set them back years while I profit from their hard work. <laughs> Mansoor! What's going on? I'm trying to fix it. Fix it faster, Mansoor, or we'll slam straight into that wall. What? What? Overrule! Overrule! <sighs> That was a close one. <laughs> hey, boys. Thanks, Mansoor. I'll take over the drive now. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is so much fun. 
It's been ages since they let me drive. I wonder why. Obeyed, what are you drinking? What is that? Is it really good? I'm just curious. Yeah, it's my favorite. Really? It is mine too. I love strawberries. Yeah, with everything. With ice cream, with juice, yogurt, with jelly, and slushies too. Smoothies. You can't get away from me. And I will show you. Ha! So can I? What? Have a little bit. Huh? Just a little bit. Uh, oh, please. Uh, Pretty please. Mansoor? Keep him busy. I think I found the brakes. Uh, forget the brakes. We need to get out of here. This isn't an accident. There must be someone behind this. Nano, are all of the cars operating on the same network? Yes. But they've all been hacked, right? Right. Trace the signal so we can find out where it's coming from. No problem. That's great. OK, now we know where we need to go. Figure out how to get there. Strawberry smoothie. What is that with it? Vanilla? Wow, 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 wow! Yeah! Wow! Hey guys, you're going to have to sample this smoothie. Ah. Delectable. What I wouldn't give for another. Those strawberry smoothies are delicious food for my circuitry. I know where to get one, but we just need to do something first. It's not working. I'd better get out of here. No! No! <laughs> Let me out! Let me out of here! No! 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 Technology is for everyone. You can't steal it. Now let's go find some strawberry smoothies for Wassel. <laughs> and for everyone else.
too? Are you ready to go fishing? I'm so ready. I'm ready too. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish ever. Where's Obeyed? He better not make us late. He made it! He's here! Hey there, guys! Hmm? Uh huh? What? <laughs> mm. What's that on your head? It's my lucky headwear. <laughs> <laughs> what makes your headwear lucky? It just is. I bet it's going to help me catch more fish than you've ever seen. <laughs> you know it's just headwear, Obeyed. No, this headwear is lucky, and I'm going to prove it. Huh? huh? Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very oh, lucky. Huh? I think you'll agree with me now that you've seen it. My headwear really is lucky. I bet the machine is broken. You can believe what you like. I know it's because my headwear is truly uh, lucky. Uh, uh, can I try your headwear, please? Mm, okay, oh. I guess you can, but make it quick. Uh. Hey! I'm in need of some luck, too. <gasps> wow! I can't believe I won. I've never seen anyone beat that machine before. The headwear is lucky. Obeyed was telling the truth. My Woo! turn now. Now, what do I want to be lucky with today? So, there's no such thing oh, as... I've oh. just won a quad bike! What? I entered a competition a few weeks ago. Thanks to this lucky headwear, they just told me I've won. Play. We have another turn with it. Wait, I haven't finished with it yet. How many quad bikes do you need? Oh. Let go, let go already. You let go, stop. Enough, hey, it. hey, stop it. You're going to damage it. Stop it, guys. Lucky hats don't exist, you know. But you saw what just happened to all of us. I know, but good luck comes from hard work and making the most of opportunities. It's not from something you wear on your head. Mm. Mm. Give it back to Obey mm. so he can go and catch lots of fish. Yeah. I really want to make the most out of the fishing trip with my lucky headwear. Huh? <laughs> oh, what the, the lucky headwear? <laughs> Let's go get it. Let's go. Back here. Stop. I'm going fishing! <laughs> There's only one way we can get it. What? We climb it. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> it's much higher than it looked from down there. <laughs> Hey guys, on the count of three, let go and we'll drop right on top of that canopy. One, <gasps> two, three. <gasps> Why didn't you let go? It's too far. No, it's not. And one, and two, drop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mansoor. Where are the others? They're chasing a seagull who swooped in and stole Obey's lucky headwear. Well, that means more fish for us to catch then. Mm. Come on, let's get going. Reel it in. There it is! Too bad. Says who? Uh. Huh? Hey, look! There it is! He's getting away! Guys, how are we supposed to 
get the headwear now. <gasps> With those oh. things. Oh. Oh. Jump up and grab the headwear on the count of three. Okay, ready? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're never going to catch this seagull. Hello, boys. Hey, guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. How's your afternoon? It's not as good as yours, I'm sure. Uh -huh. You haven't caught the seagull yet? No. Come on, let's go and get you boys uh -huh. something to drink. What's wrong with the machine? Terrible malfunction. It's been giving away free soda all day. You see? It was the faulty machine, not Lucky Headwear. But what about the toy machine? Is that faulty too? No, that works fine. I put it on the easy level every now and again. <gasps> Maybe the Gafia really isn't lucky. What about the message I received, telling me I'd won the competition? Yeah, that message arrived just after you put the headwear on. A coincidence. Well, I don't think... Uh? Oh, it's just told me to ignore the last message about winning. It was sent an error. I didn't win. The whole operation was a scam and there were never any real prizes. Well, that's the final bit of proof. That headwear wasn't lucky after all. <gasps> uh -huh. Hey! Uh -huh. Give me back uh -huh. my headwear! Why do you even want it back, Obeyed? It was a gift from my grandfather. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it back now. Hmm. Obeyed, do you still have that coin the soda machine gave you earlier? Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. We got the headwear back, but unfortunately, we didn't get any fish. Well, we yeah. got loads of fish, and we'll need some help eating everything. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, can we help you with that? Of course. Who else am I going to ask to help us with all of this? Come on, let's go and eat all this delicious fish. <laughs> I promise we'll be so much help. Yeah, you won't believe how hungry, I, I mean, how helpful we'll be. <laughs> <laughs>
washing Grandpa's trunk. <laughs> Covered with soap. You'll need us to wash you too. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Who here would like a drink? <laughs> so solemn. Did you wash the soap off your face? Help yourselves. Gather around. <laughs> the car looks very clean. You've done an outstanding job. <laughs> As a thank you, I would like to pay you the participation fees for the Junior Biathlon. That's great, Grandpa. But we don't know anything about this race. Oh, but you have all the information you'll need. It's right in front of you. Look. The Junior Biathlon, which consists of the running race followed by a cycling race in the Ramal Stadium, and it's sponsored by a charitable foundation and will start next weekend. Guys, we have to take part in this. This is the best opportunity to test our fitness level, you know? And raise money for charity too, you guys. And for me to win a medal, of course. Oh yeah? Not if I win a medal by beating you to first place. I don't think so. I expect my fitness is a whole lot better than yours is. But I have the brains to go with it. Fitness beats intelligence. No, strategy beats fitness. You will need both, in fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nano, please download all the information you can get me on the competition and the best strategy we can use. Downloading now. You know what? We need to train, too. Yeah, you're right. I want us to finish in the top 10. Yeah. Or the top 20. The top 25 or top 30 would be swell. I just want to finish in the top 40 at least, you know? We'll be top 50 without a doubt. Even the top 60 would be fine. We just can't come in last. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the key to successful racing is strategy. Don't feel the need to take an early lead. Stay balanced all race long. I'm going to beat Turkey. <laughs> I don't even feel tired. Then Sora will see. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> How are your training sessions going, Mansoor? Does your butt hurt from sitting all day? They're going well. I learned all about successful race strategies and how to win. Good for you, I mean that. Actually, I learned how to run and cycle properly. I wasn't just sitting around the house watching videos, you see. I've been searching for the best strategy to utilize so that I can win the race and rub it in your well, face. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You're not gonna beat me. Guys, tell me, how's your training going? My training's been going very well. I've been running, cycling, and studying race strategy all day long. I Can even you pass started... me the water, please? <sighs> How about I tell you a short story huh? about an apple, huh? an orange, and a strawberry? The apple was only concerned with the right mind, and the orange was only concerned about a healthy body. But the strawberry wanted the right mind in a healthy body. So what did he do? He trained and developed mm -hmm. both. You only have a few more days of training left. Use them wisely, children. now I'm ready I'm totally ready uh, 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 
the junior biathlon. The race will begin shortly. Athletes, get ready. Make your way to the start line. And will the spectators please offer their support? These strong athletes need all of your support, so please give them a round of applause. Okay. We are finally ready. Uh-huh. We start with two laps on foot, followed by two on bikes. Okay, everyone, on your marks, get set, athletes, and go! Yeah! yeah. And they're off. Look at them go. Runner number 12 takes an early lead. This is so much fun. Uh, yeah. I love my new trainers. Me too. They're so comfy. And they help us run really fast. Well, maybe not that fast. <laughs> well, at least you're comfy. One lap of running to go. Contestant number 12 is still out in the lead and is going at a tremendous pace. Here come the rest of the runners doing their best to keep up. Contestant number 12 is going extremely fast. He is about to lap the two last athletes. Did you hear that? Turkey is going to lap the last two runners. I feel sorry for those guys. Poor them. We're losers, right? Hi, Obeyed. Hi, Salem. Good race. Oh, no. It's us they meant. Hurry up, Obeyed. We can't let anyone else take over us like he did. He's lapped them. He's lapped them. He's really fast. I can barely see him fly by. He'll never keep up that pace. Turkey's got wings. Contestant number 12 has completed his run and is now mounting his bike. A second to take on some water, and he's off again. And here we go. Most of the contestants are now just reaching their bicycles to cycle two more laps. There are no losers in this race except the athlete to come in last. But you gotta respect their willingness to keep on keeping on, don't ya? A great way to spend the afternoon, isn't it, folks? Two contestants no! are just finishing their Not running again! race as contestant number 12 begins his final lap cycling like I've never seen before. Obeyed and Salem put on their safety helmets and get on their bikes. Oh, it's nice to sit down after all that running. <laughs> it's busy around here. The chasing pack is getting closer and closer to contestant 12. Is he beginning to struggle? Did he use all his energy up too soon at the start of the race? Contestant number eight has played this so well. He strategically paced himself, maintaining his fitness till the end of the race. All he has to do now is power through to the finish line. Contestant number 10 is getting tired and slowing down too. Will he be overtaken? We'll just have to see, folks. He had the strategy, but he didn't have the power. What will happen now? Look on the outer lane. Here comes sprint finish from contestant number three very quickly. This is getting close, folks. Extremely close. What a great step. What great athletes. What great drama. What a day. We almost have our winner. Will he make it? They're so close. Almost there. Another lap to go. Well done, cousin. Well done. I mean, you were just great. You really had the best strategy and managed to strike the right balance between body and mind for this race. Thank you. You were going so fast at the end, Shama. I'm really sorry for not taking you seriously because in the end, I should have listened to you.
Today, a special experiment. Oh. You're going to learn about a unique rapid expansion chemical. Watch carefully. Ah. Whoa. Huh? Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. This? Huh? Oh. This is very strong stuff. Two drops is all you really need, students. Whoa! Ooh. Now it's your turn to perform the experiment. All right, back to your seats, guys. Hooray! <laughs> Goggles on, everyone. Safety first. Put some chemical Y in your test tubes over the burner. Now, everyone, mm -hmm. take two <gasps> drops of chemical X <laughs> and put them in the test tube as well. Obeyed! Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. It was an accident. Obeyed! You must respect chemicals and follow the rules. Hey, class is over. Now, everyone, return all chemicals to the front. Have good weekend, students. Mm -hmm. okay. Achoo! Huh? Yeah, yeah. Hello, the three of you. How's it going, Grandpa? So, tell me, you all have a good day at school? Yeah, we sure did. In science class, we got to perform an experiment where we doubled the size of one chemical by adding mm -hmm. another one. But then Obeyed managed to even triple its size because he accidentally added way too much. Mm hmm? Obeyed, shame you didn't bring that chemical here. You could have made this cookie bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it was so very tasty, and I'm so very hungry. Wait, sir, wait. More cookies. More cookies, please. Hey, everyone. If you'd like, you can put all your bags inside. Sure. That'd be great. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's that I hear? Porridge. Smells delicious. Tastes delicious as well. Who wants to try some? What is that? How'd it get in there? Here you are, Obeyed. Uh, thank you. Um, mm, this is good. I wish there was more. Uh, Obeyed. Huh? Shame you didn't bring that chemical here. You could have made this all a bigger. One drop. Uh, achoo! Oh! Mm. You guys are going to love my experiment. <gasps> Obey! What have you done? Hmm? Obeyed! How many drops did you put in? Uh, maybe two? Mm -mm. Or four? How so many? Obeyed! Obeyed! Quickly, go and turn the heat off! Let's get out of here! This isn't going to end well! Everything all right, dear? Uh, uh, huh? Huh? What's that sound? What's happening? Ah! Oh, my goodness! Oh! What's happening here? Lovely party we're having, but I don't know that we have enough porridge. <gasps> oh no! How can this get any worse? There! That's huh? how! Huh? Here we are, coming to you live from a garden party where the biggest batch of porridge ever on record is coming out of this house and threatens to take over the city in a matter of minutes. We have no idea how this happened or when it will end, and we have no clue when it will stop. Mmm, and it sure does smell nice. Mansoor, 
Obeyed. Salam. Is there something you want to tell me about what's on the news? I noticed one bottle of Chemical X was missing. Uh, oh, sir. It was an accident. It just fell into my bag and... Oh, I'm sure. And how did it end up in the porch? Uh, I poured it in myself, and I mean all of it. Obeyed. How can you possibly be so reckless? I only wanted to make enough for everyone. I didn't mean for all of this to happen. I had good intentions. Have you turned off the heat? No, we tried that, but couldn't get anywhere near the stove. Well, it's going to keep on growing if we don't get in there and turn it off. Uh, maybe we could reverse the expansion with another chemical and add a cooling agent. Hmm, mm. yes, that's possible, mm -hmm. in theory. Nano, can you send the chemical equation for expansion reversal reactions? Consider it done. Thank you, Nano. Oh, look at this! I think we can do that. But we gotta go to the school's laboratory. Let's go! Let's rock. Okay, chemical Y, expanding agent. Huh. Reducing agent, cooling agent. <laughs> Woo! Hey, 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 we've done it! A reducing compound, right? With a cooling agent, too. We're geniuses! Good work. <laughs> Let's get going. The porridge is still spreading. The garden walls are containing it, but they can't hold it back forever. <laughs> Whoa, excuse us! Move out of the way! Hey, were you able to come up with a chemical to shrink the porridge? Ooh. We need to quickly get this chemical into the pot for it to be successful. How are we going to do that? I will eat my way to the middle of the house. <laughs> Quiet. That's just stupid. Mm. Um, I got it. We can use Nano to fly up there and drop it down. Oh. Nano, get to Shama's house immediately. This is an emergency. Nano, top of the house, sprinkle it all over the porch. Center it up. No! Nano! <gasps> what are we going to do now? This is the only other one left. But I still have no idea how we're going to get into the kitchen. Um, huh. Do you want an exclusive story? You bet, kid. Well then, I need you to get me into that. This is News 9 Live from Above the Porridge Disaster. I'm here with Mansoor, who is friends with the owner of the house. He has created a special chemical compound that should make the gooey mess shrink in a matter of seconds. He's getting ready now to attempt his heroic task. Safety vest on. Check, sir. Helmet. On tight, sir. Snorkel and goggles. Snug as a bug, sir. Shrinking chemical. Got it. OK, I'm going in. This is the big moment, everyone. He's jumping out. Very tense moments as Mansoor gets into position. Mansoor has dropped into the porridge. This brave and fearless young man will be battling his way into the epicenter of the house to release the chemical. This is very risky. Will he do it? It's working. The porridge is shrinking and the city's safe. And now it's time for the weather with Tom. Back to the studio. Yeah! Yeah! You're alive! Way to go, Mansoor. Obeyed. Will you do the catering? I'm having a party <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> Nano, I'm glad you made it out okay. Right? No porridge in my circuits. Thank you. Well obeyed. I hope you've learned your lesson. I, I sure did. I'm not to play around with chemicals, no matter what happens. My bad. Quick, Mansoor, drink this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Computer, please review systems. All systems are go. Awesome. Now all we need is a willing test pilot. Hmm? What? Whoa! Woo yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Obeyed. Come in, Obeyed. Yes, Can I you hear me? Loud and clear, man, sword. Whoa! Oh! Thrusters, check. Woo this thing is so cool! <laughs> Comms? Yup, check. Handling? Check. Parachute? Parachute? Computer, open parachute! The computer, fly! Computer, stop falling! Computer! Come on! Come on! Come on. Obey! Come Try on. rebooting the system! Computer, reboot system! Whoa! System still works. Do you read me, Command Center? Hi, Mansoor. Hello, boys. <sighs> Command Center, I repeat, this is Eagle One. Do you read me, Command Center? <sighs> this is Command Center to Eagle One. You are clear for takeoff. Do you copy? Computer, ignite. Okay, the most important thing now is to see how these jetpacks perform. But remember, they're still in the testing phase. So let's be careful while we're up there. Got it? Got it. Got it. Now who's ready to catch some bad guys? <laughs> bad guys better beware. <laughs> Operation Eagle Eye is underway. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, we're just up here testing the jetpacks. That's all there is to it, really. Oh, so you don't like the idea of being superheroes? We're just testing the jetpacks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not looking to save the world? We are just jetpack testing, really. That's all there is to it. Oh, so it doesn't matter that you're the only kids ever to have this technology that can potentially help you catch bad guys and save the world? Okay, so we like the idea of being heroes <laughs> and finding bad guys. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're up here, up in the sky, actually flying. Huh? <laughs> ah, help me! The lamb! Tell him! Ouch! 
Uh, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Computer, reboot. Well, at least you rescued the cat. <laughs> now let's go find some bad guys. <laughs> Chance, Eagle Force. To the rescue! <laughs> uh, 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 that was too close. Uh, 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 Eagle Force, to the rescue! Uh, 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 uh. What? No, the video stream froze. Uh, put me down. Let me go. Put you down? Are you sure? You, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't worry. You're in good hands. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Overload warning. Overload warning. Discard excess weight. Uh, that's her. Computer, reboot! Uh, 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 What's going on? Come on, why won't you work? Work already! What's wrong with it? Uh, hold on! Look! Doesn't he look familiar? Oh yeah, he does actually. Wait, it's him, it's the same guy. It's the thief. Oh my gosh, do you know what that means? They, they actually, actually caught, caught a bad, bad guy. guy. But then that would also mean they, they actually, actually caught, caught a real, a real life, life bad, bad guy. guy. <laughs> Overload warning, overload warning. Discard excess weight. That's strange. The pack should be able to handle this amount of weight. <laughs> Ideal cruising weight restored. Wow, that's one heavy bag. Okay, I know what to do. We'll call the police. What? What about their secret identities? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. Call the police now! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sure, what to say. Uh, thank you, I guess. No need for thanks. We're only doing our duty. Eagle One to command center. Eagles are coming home. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Eagle Three to Eagle One, come in. I repeat, Eagle Three to Eagle One. What is it, Obey? Honestly, I'm not really sure about doing this. I'm tired of playing superheroes, you guys. We didn't catch any bad guys. And that guy didn't even seem grateful. <sighs> Forget this idea, guys. At least we tried, though. Guys, guys! Wait until you hear what we have to tell you. You won't believe it.
Welcome to the annual science fair. Science is the study of the world around us, how it works and why it works the way it does. Science makes the impossible possible. Science puts men on the moon and computers in our pockets. And I'm very excited to see what all of our young scientists have in store for us today. This year, I'm pleased to announce that our winners will receive an exclusive VIP tour of the Science Museum, as well as a lump sum cash prize. Let the judging commence. Good luck to you all. Uh, <laughs> aha, a Van der Graaff generator. It's quite harmless. Carry on, Mafid. The Van der Graaff generator can build a huge static electricity charge of well over one million volts. That's right, but with a very low current. Watch. <laughs> Your neutral is flapping up. Ah, excellent work, Mafid. <laughs> Hello, Tarek. So what have you got here? Well, sir, as you can see, it's a model volcano. And inside the crater is a beaker of baking soda. Go pour some vinegar inside of it. <laughs> the vinegar is reacting with the baking soda. And then we dyed the baking soda with red food coloring to make it look as if it were real lava. Isn't science amazing, Teacher Ali? Excellent, very inventive. Thank you, boys. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Mansoor. What have we got here? Thank you, sir. Meet Nadir. Say hello, Nadir. Greetings. Well, hello there. Nice to meet you, Nadir. Tell us more about Nadir, Mansoor. The robot can be remote controlled by an app I created on my smartphone. He's designed to do a wide variety of things, such as cleaning, lifting, moving things, or even hazardous tasks that might not be safe for humans. Amazing. <sighs> can you demonstrate? Uh, Nadir, fetch that ball. Hmm? Uh huh. Bats. Bats. Very nice. Hmm. Hmm. And he's strong. Watch this. <laughs> Nadir, bend the bar. Whoa. Bend, bend. Incredible. Amazing. We can use him on the school jujitsu team. Excellent work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Firstly, I'd like to thank everybody for participating in our science fair. There were a great many interesting projects that we saw. And this year's winners are... Huh? <gasps> Mansoor, Obeyed, and Salem for their robot! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Watch this, you guys. Hmm? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Just giving that metal man a bath. He stinks. <laughs> He's gone crazy. Oh, He's short circuiting. Evacuate. Evacuate. Let's get out of here. before he destroys the whole school. Mansoor, you can't stop that thing on your own. Right, Obeid will help you. I'm out of here. Solon, we are a team. I guess we can all die together. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Where did he go? I'm pretty sure he went this way. No way, we can't fight something that strong. 
Not fight him. We have to disable him. Pull out his batteries or something. Hmm. So you really want to get that close to a gigantic, crazy, psycho on the run robot? Okay. I've got it. Follow me. Uh, Come uh, on. Uh, okay. So the foam from Tarek's volcano caused the robot to short circuit, right? Uh, and so, if we can get him even wetter, the batteries will fail. Mom! Yeah! Ha! Let's roll out! I think we're safe. Why are we here trying to destroy a giant killer rampaging robot with mobs? That's not what I call safe. What we need is an ambush. Great idea, Salem. We'll draw him towards us for an all out surprise attack. Right, but we are still going to need some bait. Hmm. What do you think we can use as bait? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not me. Come on. <laughs> I should have stayed quiet. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Hey, rust bucket! <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 I don't want to get bent. <laughs> Eat this! <laughs> Harmless to humans, but lethal for robots. Wow! I think we just destroyed the entire school. Hey, Tarek! We need more cement! <laughs> yeah, well, if you need it so bad, why don't you come and get it yourself, then? Um, maybe I'll send the robot to get it. No, 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 it's okay. We got this. 
knew that detention could be so much fun, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's entered Earth's orbit. Ooh, there it is. It's on target to land as predicted. Oh, <gasps> what's happening? It's not responding. Follow it. Where's it going? I don't have a clue. We don't have anything for show and tell today. Mansoor, are you sure you don't have anything to show in class today? Hmm, well, I'm working on that. Hey! Look, guys! Squashed by a meteor obeyed. But I did get some great video footage. Uh, let's take a look. Come on. Uh, it's not a meteor. It's actually a UFO. <laughs> 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 about it. Greetings there, Mansoor. Nano, can you find out who our new friend is, please, over there? Sure thing, Mansoor. <laughs> Looks like they're having some kind of robo-chat. He says that he's a deep space rover and that the Space Authority are on their way to collect him soon. Well then, why doesn't he just stay in one place? Can you ask him to stop digging and wait for the Space Authority? He says that he cannot stop because it is what he is programmed to do. <laughs> yeah. Nano, can you override his system? Overriding system initiated. Override complete. There we go. As long as Nano's attached, he can stop all that digging. Oh, we are late for school. <laughs> yeah, but now we have the best thing for show and tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Next up for show and tell is, uh, Tarek. <laughs> I have brought this today with me to show everyone. No one can have a go. It's all mine. Great. Thank you, Tariq. Next up is... Mansoor. <laughs> I bet you won't have anything better than this to show the class, Mansoor. Actually, we have something out of this world to show the class. Literally! Really now? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Nano, it's time to bring him in. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> This robot crashed in the park today. That's right, and it came from outer space. Wow, I don't believe it. It was collecting samples from deep space. Can we see some samples? <laughs> he says that the rock is from a moon that is located 1,000 light years away from Earth. <laughs> he says, don't touch that. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, oh no! They will stay like this forever, unless they are given an antidote very soon. But what's the antidote? He said he has all the necessary ingredients in his pod that crashed in the park. We'll need to retrieve them. All right, then what are we waiting for? Let's hurry, guys! Just make an extra antidote. Warning, warning, low battery power. Stop! Nano needs to override his system. <laughs> but Nano's got no battery. What are we going to do? Give me your cell phones and phone cables, too. If I could manage to reroute the power from the cell phones to Nano... Got it! All right, you did it, Mansoor. We've got to get back to school now. He says, let's make an antidote. End of class already. I'll see you all tomorrow. Great, robot. We did it. Don't forget all the people in the playground. Oh, we have three minutes. Quickly! Hurry, Mansoor. Oh, 
right. We can go home now. <laughs> Thank you for looking after him. No problem. It was our pleasure. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble for you. Uh, no, no trouble. He says that he's had more fun with you three today than he ever had out in deep space. He would like you to have this. Really? Well, he did take plenty of samples, so you kids can have them. Thank, Thank you. you! Come on, <laughs> let's go. Everyone ready to go camping? Yeah! yeah! Mm. Well, let's go then. <laughs> I love spending spring break in the desert. I do too. Camping under the stars is great. Raising dune buggies is really fun. And eating uh, food cooked on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> this trip is going to be so amazing. But will there be any Wi-Fi uh, there? Salam! If I drive a little bit faster, we'll be there in time for lunch. Is it time to drive them yet? We'll have lunch first. Hey, how are you liking this so far? Uh, I can't get any signal. Of course you can't. You're in the middle of the desert. Entertain yourself the old-fashioned way. What is the old-fashioned way? Telling stories. Why don't you tell us one? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, one day I was walking down the street and I saw a cat. That's your story? That's all you can tell us about it? One day I saw a cat? All right, why don't you tell one then? Okay, I will. Once upon a time, a long time ago. Well, actually, it was just last month. <laughs> I bought some ice cream, but I forgot to put it in the freezer. An hour later, I remembered. I rushed back home to get to it. But to my surprise, I discovered that the ice cream had completely melted. 
And so... I thought to myself, what am I going to do now? Uh-huh. Then I had a great idea. I'll drink it with a straw. So I ended up having a delicious ice cream milkshake instead. It was so good! That's the end! <laughs> well done, Obeyed. That's a very nice story. How about you tell us one of your stories, Grandpa? I will tell you a scary story. When I was a little boy, my mother used to warn me not to go and play outside in the afternoon because Humarat al Gaila hunts for children at that time. Humarat al Gaila has a human face, but the legs of a donkey. One day I did go play in the afternoon, and I saw Humarat al Gaila. I was terrified. She approached me and said, Lunch is ready. <laughs> Grandpa. What did Humarat al Gaila say? <laughs> I'll finish the story this evening. Let's go eat. Come on. I really can't wait to hear the rest of the story. Ugh, I don't like the sound of this Humarat al Gaila. Guys, are you ready for some fun? Oh, yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Can we come too? No, boys only. <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> Be careful and watch out for Humarat al Gaila. Humarat al Gaila. I've got an idea. <laughs> How's this look? Perfect. <laughs> Let's go after them. <laughs> Cool, that was an awesome ride, you guys. Hey guys, who wants to come fly my new kite? I do. I do too. I'll just stay here and look after the buggies. <laughs> Mansoor, wait for me! Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah, yeah, this is the life. Solemn's right there, okay. Are you ready? Ready. Now let's go and teach Solemn a lesson. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch out for Humarat al Gaila. She comes for children in the afternoon. Solemn. Will you please help me, my friend? Thank you. Oh. You're a lifesaver. Uh, 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 what happened? Uh, 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 it's just me, Shama. Uh, uh, Huh? What happened? Well, we were really upset. You didn't let us go buggy riding with all of you guys just because we're girls. It wasn't fair. So, we decided to dress up as Humarat al Gaila and teach you a lesson. But our trick worked a bit too well. We're very sorry. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Thank goodness! I've been saved! I'm sorry I said you couldn't join us. That's okay, Salem. I'm also glad it wasn't really Humarat al Gaila. There's nothing to worry about. Mm. Humarat al Gaila is not real. Whoa! Whoa! Stop! Huh? 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 Humarat al Gaila! Oh, please tell me this is just another joke. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, she is oh. real! Oh. What are we gonna do? We have to get out of here! That's a great idea! Run away! <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! We saw Humarat al Gaila! 
What? Uh -huh. Humurat al is out there! You mean you saw Shama and Kalud pretending to be Humurat al Well, Solim saw the Humurat al and he fainted. But then we saw the real Humurat al You know, I think your scary story was a little bit too scary for the kids. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down, children. Humurat al is just an old folk tale. I didn't mean to scare you this much. We enjoyed the story, Grandpa. But what we saw was real. But, Mansoor, there's no such thing. I don't believe uh -huh. it. Humorat <laughs> Agaila, I told you she was real. Please help me. Mm -hmm. Grandpa, no! Water. Bring me water. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, rest by the fire. I just brewed some coffee. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Grandpa, do you think you can please finish telling us the story about how you met the Humorat al in the desert? No, no, please don't know. I've already met her twice today. Well, okay then. Why don't you tell us another riveting story about meeting a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's totally brilliant. Mom's work has been picked to be shown in an art gallery in the city tomorrow. Wow, we! I invited a famous art critic, so I gotta finish this one. If you'd like to paint too, everything you need's in the kitchen. Yes, please. Thanks so much, Mom. That would be awesome. I've always wanted to. Hmm. What shall we paint? Um. I know. What? Shoot! Each other! Finished! Yeah, me too! All done! Okay, so on the count of three, we all turn them around. One, and two, three, and turn! Huh? What? Hold on! That doesn't look anything like me! You blind or something! Oh, you should smash, smash the no, door! Look at that. Boys, what's going, going on? Like he looks nothing like me! Paintings don't have to be the exact representation. It's up to what the artist sees and feels. How they interpret it. These all have good qualities. They do? Yes. Mansoor, you have a gift with colors. Solemn, you have used light very well. And obeyed, your style is unique and bold. Well done. Now will you boys please be quiet so I can finish my painting, you know, for my show? Whoa! Wow! Fantastic! 
Look at this, look at this. This is all looking sensational. There's an article in here from the mm -hmm. art critic. He says he's coming uh, to your show tonight. Uh, that's right, he's actually coming. He'll be here later today. Everything must be perfect. Relax, relax. Everything is gonna be okay. Look around, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, mm? Huh? Uh, oops, my bad. Don't worry, Miriam. The boys will clean that up. Let's get you home so you can change for tonight. Mm -hmm. Hurry, hurry. Clean that up already. Who eats cake in a place like this? It was an accident. I'll clean it up now. Don't worry. <laughs> <gasps> oh, babe, it's getting worse. Stop that. <laughs> Here you are, Obeyed. You can use this to clean it in no time. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Salem. Relax. This will get the floor really clean. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> away now for a moment i really thought we were going to crash into your mom's painting that would have been a disaster right aren't we? Your mom said so herself, Mansoor. We can do this. Okay, let's each do our part. Well done, boys. You did a good job. Actually, a great job. I was really worried. You can't imagine the stress I'm under, but it looks perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Mom, uh, there's something, uh, something I need to tell you. What is it, my dear? There she is, the world-famous artist. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is everything all right, boys? Uh, yeah, the thank you. Sure, thank you. Uh, Mom, we really, really need to tell you something very important. Yes, sorry, Mansoor. So, what's up? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What well, he's trying to say is, um, is that, uh... Well, what it is, um, what happened was, uh, well, uh, the thing is, um, what? Uh, it's the art critic. I'll speak to you later. Hmm. Mm hmm
<laughs> what is underneath this curtain? It's my latest work, the centerpiece of this show. Mm -hmm. Please, won't you show me? I love the childish playful strokes. It's unique, original, and very brave. An absolute triumph. <laughs> Thank you. I've been very influenced by my 12-year-old son and his friends. Yeah, you have. It is full of useful energy and childish innocence. Thanks. Well done. I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. Huh? I don't know whether to scold you or hug you. Sorry, Mom. It was an accident. We tried to tell you. Mm, well, you three pulled this off somehow. It turned out just fine, and the critic liked it. We could also repaint some more stuff if you'd like us to. No, no, thank you. Actually, I think you three should be in this photo, too. Come on, bring it in. just play video games all summer. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But when are we going back to school? It's not that bad, Obeyed. Okay, maybe not that bad. Mansoor, tell us, how's your helicopter coming along over there? Not well at all. I don't understand it. The batteries are too heavy, so I need a new power source. Other than that, I can't think of anything. Then let's all think. It's my problem. Mmm. It's 4.30, so we could go down to the beach. It won't be too hot, and it'll be better than just sitting around here, right? Mm, I suppose so. Oh, look at that bike, guys. Oh, nice. Oh. Whoa, hey, man, I like your bike. <laughs> Yeah, I'm bored with it. Uh, I'm getting a much better one this weekend. Really? Another bike? Is it your birthday or something? Uh, no, all I had to say was I want one. My dad gets me whatever I want. Hey, um, can I have a go on it? Yeah, sure, why uh, not? Go ahead. Huh? Where's your helmet? Oh, please. Only babies wear helmets. Uh-oh. Um... <clears throat> Here. Thanks, man. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ghazi. Ghazi Harib. Hmm. You want one? No, I'm all right. I don't like that sort of drink. Do you want to ride my bike? I'll make him get off if you want. Ooh. Hey! No, thank you. You don't have energy drinks or bikes. So what do you like? I'm dying to know. Plenty of things. Such as? Mmm, engineering, inventing, traveling, exploring. <sighs> Go on. What else do you like? I like football, jujitsu, science. Science? My father bought me the most advanced chemistry set, but I thought it was totally boring. Chemistry is only one aspect of science. There's physics, Biology? Oh, please. Boring, 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 and disgusting. All of it is gross. Ugh. 
<sighs> my father says having one of these is like having a solar panel on my head. It gives me loads of energy. Ah, solar panel booster, that's it. That's what's been missing. Salem, obeyed. I'm going oh. home right now to work on my helicopter. Do you want to join me? No, 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 wait just a moment. Don't leave with him. Stay with me. I haven't gone on the bike yet. Uh-huh, that's okay. I'll see you guys later. That's sure, remember. Don't do the test flight without us, okay? I won't. Bye then. Oh wait, you didn't tell me your name. I know. Turkey? Mansoor, where's Salomon Obeyed? At the beach, playing with Ghazi Harib's new bike he's been riding around. Who's Ghazi Harib? A boy with nice things, but a bad attitude and a mouth to go with it. Oh, one of them. I get it. What are you doing with that thing? Putting solar panels onto my helicopter. I sort of got the idea from that spoiled brat. Mmm, I think it worked. Are you glad you met the spoiled brat? I'm not so sure about that, Turkey. It's ready. Let's go and find Solomon Obey. Thanks, Kazi. Let's go and get something to drink. No uh -huh. need. Look here, I've got loads and loads of these in my bag. Dad uh -huh. gets them from somewhere. They have 10 times more sugar and caffeine than the stuff you can get in the shops. But you know what they say, too much sugar and caffeine is really bad for you. Really? Huh? They might say that. Who cares? Uh, I practically live on this stuff. Come on, let's uh, have some fun. Uh, 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 <laughs> you two are absolutely crazy. <laughs> Ready. Huh? Whoa. Ooh. Mm. Mm. These are delicious. Oh, Bede, look at your tongue. No. It's totally bright blue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, your tongue is green, Solomon. And yours is orange, dude. <laughs> where they were. Here's the proof. This is the stuff he was drinking. Ugh, that stuff looks nasty. Hey, we didn't see them up there, so how about we look this way? <laughs> Ugh. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Wow. Come on, I've got a great idea for what we can do next. We should clear up the can, shouldn't we? Just uh -huh. leave them. There are people who are paid to clean up. Hurry up. Turkey, look there. What is this? I know it can't be good for you. And neither can these. We are not going inside there. Don't be such scaredy cats. No one ever comes around. Now this is gonna be fun. Why don't you take the bike up there? Huh? Uh, wait, this doesn't look safe at all. Stop being such a baby. You want to have fun, don't you? Yeah, but... But what? So it's okay to drink my drinks and eat my sweets, but you won't play my games? Come on, is that fair? <sighs> uh, oh, my 
my goodness. Uh, uh, I think we should go down. Yeah? You want to go down? Then ride down that. It'll be a lot of fun. No way. You don't have much choice. Don't even worry about the bike. I don't care about it. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Well, look at that. He left a garbage trail for us to follow. I mean, come on. Does he really... <gasps> Like him. <laughs> 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 